I'm David Hughes, the director of the Large Millimeter Telescope and a researcher at the National Institute for Astrophysics, Optics and Electronics in Puebla, Mexico. So we're here in front of the Large Millimeter Telescope, a telescope that is 50 meters in diameter. And as a consequence of the size and the design specifically for millimeter wavelength astronomy, the LMT is the world's largest single dish millimeter wavelength telescope. Uh, the telescope is a binational project between Mexico and the United States. Uh, the project is led in Mexico by INOE, my institute, and our partners in the United States are the University of Massachusetts. The LMT is, is a, uh, a telescope designed specifically to study questions related to the formation and evolution of structure throughout the entire history of the universe during the last 13.7 billion years. And the reason that the telescope is built on the summit of Sierra Negra, a volcano of an altitude 4,600 meters, is to ensure that we're in a high uh, dry site which is required to give us the necessary sensitivity for millimeter wavelength observations. The telescope is, as I said before, is 50 meters in diameter, but we will begin the scientific life of the telescope in the coming months using only the interior 32 meters diameter. And in the first stage of scientific observations with the LMT, we will be conducting observations with two instruments, a one millimeter camera to image uh, star formation regions and the regions in which uh, there is the formation of planets around nearby stars, as well as detecting the epoch of formation of the first galaxies in the distant universe. And the second instrument that we will be using is a three millimeter spectrometer that will detect the molecular line emission and the chemistry of star formation regions in the local and distant universe. So finally, after uh, 14 years of construction, in the coming weeks and months, the Mexican commun astronomy community and our colleagues at the University of Massachusetts will be working together in the first scientific programs using the Large Millimeter Telescope.